All right, hey guys, um, for all you Sprinter van owners, um, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen my other videos um, with my Sprinter van, but had a problem today. Uh, went to unlock the back door and this uh, key cylinder, something popped and then, uh, and then the key just spun around and it would not unlock. So I had to climb through the inside of the, uh, the car to get inside. <clears throat> anyway, came home and I uh, have taken the door apart to get inside and uh, I've already done the repair. But I want Actually, no, I have not got the repair. At this point, when I'm recording, I thought I had figured it out, but I'm not, I, I did not. So please watch till the end. Uh, hopefully this will help. Not a lot of video or pictures of it being fixed, but I tried to describe it as best I can. Before you can take the door off, um, or the door panel off, I had to take this uh, this bezel off. Take that off, and it just, it's got these little clips, and you just pull them out one at a time very carefully. I just used a, a wide, uh, flat head screwdriver, <clears throat> and then uh, and then I pulled, uh, let's see it right in the sun, I uh, pulled that off, and uh, you can see some of the clips came off, uh, but then some of the clips pulled out like they should. So I'm going to have to go back and pull these out, snap these back onto the panel, and then snap everything back into place. <clears throat> uh, this is what I've done so far. Um, so to get this off, I pulled, there's one of these right here, right there. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> okay. This is, it is this, here's where it is in relation. <clears throat> so I pulled the little rubber thing off and then there was a, a screw uh, <clears throat> right here. And that was screwed into this. And that holds that on. Once you take that out, then <clears throat> it's really just uh, pressure. You just have to pry this past the, uh, the door. What I actually found after taking this on and off several times is that if you push on the black plastic portion of the key cylinder on the left side of that plastic towards the door handle. So you'll be pushing from your left to the right with your thumb. As you pull the handle out, uh, the key cylinder will easily pop off without you having to do any kind of prying with any kind of like screwdriver or anything and risk damaging anything else. Uh, that worked really easy for me. Uh, I think it'll work for you.
right. That rod that you see on the left side goes up and is connected um, to a little ball that you can see right here. Okay. Right, I'm going to try to hold this still. This right here is the handle that you pull on to open the door. And when I, this is, un, this is locking it, and I can pull the key out. But when I want to unlock it, 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 it does this thing. Okay, now that's locked. Now if I want to come back to center to take the key out, I can't come back to center to take the key out. And, and I'm not sure what's going on. But I think if I, let me get my hand up in here. This comes down, right? So I, so I can turn it down, right? And now it does this, right? That's that's unlock, and and I'm trying to come back to center, and I can force it, right? I can force it. Sorry, the shaky camera. Now I got the key out. But now, if I were to uh, open the door, all that pressure came off, and then look, and then I let the handle go, and it pops it right back off. So that's what I'm working with. All right, so I was confused when I put this thing together. I thought I had the little ball in the right orientation. Um, there's that flat edge that you can see when it is turned to the left um, and it seemed to match up with the flat edge of the the door handle the the mechanism so I thought that was the way that would it should go but uh, and, and because I never saw this uh, put together um, before it broke I, you know I'm just having to play with it and figure it out and uh, so uh, unfortunately I had already put those pins in and and uh, put everything back together and I tried to put those pins in in a way that they wouldn't come back out and uh, and then when I had exhausted everything that I could think of to make it work, um, I was left with the only option is to try to pull those pins out and spin that uh, the ball on the back of the the lock cylinder 180 degrees. So I it, it was uh, it was it was difficult to get those pins out. Anyhow, I I was finally able to get them out and. Uh, and I rotated the the ball 180 degrees, and uh, and I started making some progress. Um, but what was the key uh, difference? Um, of course, I was heading in the right direction, but the key was not only to turn it 180 degrees so that the uh, the ball is would be facing to the right. But would then also uh, the little black plastic that clips onto the ball. It has to ride onto that whole uh, arm that the ball um, is, is is part of. And uh, so I try to do some screen captures and and uh, highlighted the wrong location in red and the and the correct location in green. Um, again, I, I was not planning to make a video, but I um, didn't really have time to make a video. But since I couldn't find anything on YouTube that had the same problem, I 
tried my best effort. So I hope this video, um, the little tidbit of information that you get out of this is, is helpful. If you do encounter this problem, I know most of you probably have uh, the key fob. Um, unfortunately, uh, all of my key fobs are either batteries or dead or destroyed. Um, so um, so I, I'm using uh, the lock mechanism, which, which is Maybe another reason why mine broke because I'm using it much more than what Mercedes figured anybody would be using it for. So, anyway, uh, again, uh, thanks for your time. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps. And have a great day.